During level four, you will study four modules, starting with Mathematics for Motorsport, where you'll develop the skills to calculate solutions to typical race vehicle engineering problems. You will then move on to race car design and preparation, where you'll be introduced to race rules and regulations and how to apply these to race vehicle designs. You will also recap on typical vehicle systems. You will finish this module with learning how to prepare and set up a vehicle for track use and how incorrect settings can affect the vehicle performance. Next is R&D Simulation Analysis, where you'll be taught how to use the various industry software packages. You will study 3D CAD modelling, finite element analysis and computational fluid dynamics. This module is based on you building the skills to use the software packages so that you can put them to good use in future modules. Level 4 concludes with Fundamentals of Motorsport Technology, where you'll study engineering materials and appropriate uses, including the lifing of components and material failures. This module also introduces you to electrical and electronic basics, including sensors, actuators and the use of engine management systems. The first module at level 5 is Thermodynamics and Fluid Mechanics, where you will learn the engineering principles allowing you to succeed as an aerodynamicist or internal combustion engine design engineer. Fluid Mechanics studies fluid and airflow within pipes and chambers as well as over solid bodies. You will then move on to Engine Design, Development and Simulation, where you use industry standard 1D simulation software. You will be able to take your mathematical concepts to simulated reality. Next is Vehicle Dynamics, Physics and Data Acquisition, where you'll study longitudinal and lateral behaviour of a race vehicle. Tyre modelling and data analysis techniques are also included. You'll then move on to work experience and a research study, where you'll be able to showcase all your newfound knowledge within a race team or organisation. You'll then move on to Module 9. If you choose the Engine Module, you'll analyse data taken from tests carried out on flow benches and dynamometers. You'll then use this data to fully validate your complex engine simulation models. If it is the Aerodynamics Module you've chosen, you'll study aerodynamic packages on race vehicles, such as front splitters, rear diffusers and how aerodynamic devices work. You'll then be able to apply the theories to computational fluid dynamic models enabling you to test your concepts in a simulated environment. Next is hybrid and electric vehicles. The future of motorsport is with the use of electric machines, whether as an electric only vehicle or as part of a complex hybrid system. Whether you decide to be an aerodynamicist or engine design engineer, you'll need to understand either cooling issues and flow, packaging constraints or power deployment. The final year project concludes your studies. This is your opportunity to demonstrate the knowledge and skills you have acquired along the way and showcase your software, engineering and analysis skill sets.